So let me show you what happens here. We have a balloon and an empty bottle of water. We took it to 70 feet deep, 70 feet underwater. Now we added one full breath of air into the balloon and we tied a knot. We kept it in this little cage, the way it doesn't expand too much. But you know, giving air into the depth on the way up would expand. It's the same thing will happen to your lungs when you're underwater and you take a big full breath of air at depth and you swim up. You will see what it happens, how it expands. We also did the same with the bottle of water. Now, the balloon would emulate a better the shape of your lungs, but the bottle of water also has the same idea. So we add only one big breath of air too. Compressor from the tank, obviously, but we're in 70 feet of water, 69 feet of water to be exact. And now we're gonna start ascending. As we start ascending, there is start expanding. The balloon start expanding. By the time we get up, it would be almost four times the amount of air that it was on the bottom. So pay attention to the ball and the balloon. Look at the balloon immediately. As soon as we left the floor, it started getting bigger and bigger. And once we go up, the ball starts harder and harder and harder. I'm trying to press it with my hand and nothing happening. It's almost impossible to put my fingers in. And the bottom, it was easy. By the time we're gonna get almost to the surface, look at the balloon, almost double the size. Looks like you have a very big inflatable sideways on the basket there. And we keep on going up. We went super slow. Obviously I cut a lot of pieces of the video that way you're not six minutes waiting for me to get to the surface on 70 feet. But this is what it happens to your lungs if you come up from the bottom, if you're nervous and run away and something went wrong and the only thing you have to do is excel when you're going up, so you know you, this is gonna happen to your lungs. You see how inflated the balloon is? And look now, look what is gonna happen to the cap when I open the bottle. Look at this, all the way, like 30 feet on the air with the power. How good is that? But don't worry, we did grab that cap. We have it right there on the hand. Stay safe. Don't hold your breath underwater.